great to have a movie that brings to light the art of Wing Chun. But it's very important to acknowledge the actual person who started the movement. Yet man was much more than simply Bruce Lee's teacher. He opened the door to what has become an internationally known system of devastatingly effective hand-to-hand -hand combat. When it comes to close quarter self-defense, experts the world over look to those trained under the Yip Man line of Wing Chun for effectiveness. It's of the utmost importance that we acknowledge the real Yip Man for what he gave the world. Yip Man was 12 when he started learning Wing Chun. His Sifu was Chan Wa Shun, who he trained with for three years before he retired. Yip then learned from his older Kung Fu brother until Yip turned 16 and went off to school in Hong Kong. While there, Yip trained under Lung Bik, the son of Lung Jian, his teacher's teacher. At 24, Yip returned to Foshan and became a police officer. He taught Wing Chun privately to friends and family in his spare time. Later, when the Chinese Communist Party came to power, Yip Man fled to Hong Kong. It was there that he made teaching Kung Fu his profession and opened the first public Wing Chun school. When he first started teaching though, Yip Man had a hard time keeping students. Students would stay only a month or two and then quit. But he kept on believing in what he was doing until after a while a few students got good enough to lead classes. These first students, Lung Sheng, Lak Yu, and Chu Shang Tin, paved the way for later students, including Bruce Lee, to come aboard. This video is a tribute to Yip Man.